Raven Elise TV. Hey guys, what's up? It's Raven, and I'm back with another acne slash Accutane update video. I am on my third month of Accutane. I just had my three month checkup with the dermatologist, and you guys have actually been commenting on a lot of my recent uploads, recent photos and Snapchats and stuff like that, saying that my skin is starting to look really, really good, that you can't believe the transformation, that you're so happy for me, and I'm really happy too, and I'm so glad you guys are noticing, and thank you for all of the comments and compliments on my skin lately. I definitely have been seeing a difference. I keep seeing a difference as the months go on, so I'm super happy about that. Like I said, this is my third month, so I do still have two more months of taking the medication if not three more months depending on how it goes so this is pretty good for the third month in my opinion I'm really happy with it so first off right now of course I don't have a stitch of makeup on I have nothing on my skin uh, except moisturizer and a lip mask on my lips so this is what my skin is looking like right now. So just a couple updates. One thing that I'm really happy with right now is how my skin looks from the front. If you look at the main like center part of my face, you don't see any active acne. You don't see as much scarring. You don't see as much discoloration. You see it just looking a lot clearer and even from straight on. Definitely when I turn to the side, that's when you start noticing more acne scars and more bumps. I've had this little bump right here for a while. It's been very stubborn. I don't know why like that's taking so long to heal. On this side, I just have some scarring on my chin and you know, this is my problem area like in the beard area. So I'm definitely gonna have to work on the scarring but as of active acne, new breakouts, cystic, I haven't had a cystic pimple in a very long time. I don't remember the last time I actually had a very painful cystic large pimple um, and I haven't really been breaking out very much at all. So I definitely just have some old spots that are lingering and right now I have this little irritation right under my nose because as you can probably hear I'm congested right now. I'm still fighting a cold or something so I've been blowing my nose and rubbing my nose so you know how you get that little raw spot right there. So it's a little bit red and flaky around my nose but that's just from having a cold. Other than that I haven't been experiencing a lot of redness or breakouts or bumps or cysts or anything lately so I'm super happy about that so yeah in terms of Accutane update that's pretty much the update I had my appointment the other day all my blood work came back healthy I told you guys in a couple videos ago that my white blood cells were going down which wasn't good but they've been going up ever since then they went up again this time so that's really good I haven't had any complications or any super crazy symptoms I've had different things going on with my health in terms of like having these colds and I know there's like all these crazy viruses going around I had a stomach ache the other day a stomach bug or something and just like other weird things that I just really am not sure if it has anything to do with the Accutane because there are all these viruses and it is cold and flu season so I kind of think it's just because of that that I've kind of been feeling sick lately I just don't have any big complaints when it comes to the main symptoms that they warn you about in terms of having increased joint pain or having increased depression or suicidal thoughts or any of those big scary things that they warn you about I haven't been struggling with so also in this video I also wanted to share my skincare routine while I'm on Accutane so kind of like my Accutane skincare routine Um, I do have a few certain products that I use. It's very, very simple and easy compared to any other skincare routine that I posted on my channel. I have admittedly posted a lot of different skincare routines on my channel, a lot of different products, a lot of different regimens, acne.org and Curology and everything you could ever think of because I just struggled so badly with trying to treat my skin topically from the surface and trying to find holy grail products that were gonna cure my acne and it never did. It would work for maybe three months or six months or maybe even a year but then after that it's like I'm doing the same thing but it stopped working and my acne is just taking over and the products aren't doing anything and I feel like that's because I wasn't really treating my acne from the source I wasn't treating it from the inside out I was just treating it topically and trying to cure it with products instead of curing it you know right now I'm taking Accutane which is a prescription medicine pill that I'm taking that goes into my bloodstream and I have 
have changed my diet pretty dramatically, taking out all dairy, taking out all gluten and these other food allergens, which I feel like is curing it from the source. Now with the products that I use, they're not special to me. I'm not like locked into, I'm not like, oh my God, I have to use these special products every single day. If I skip a day, then I'm gonna break out. If I don't use this face mask, then I'm gonna break out. Like, I don't feel locked in. I don't feel like I rely on these products. So I'm really happy that I have a very simple skincare routine now. I have very, you know, easy products. I can switch products without it being a big deal. I can skip a day without it being a big deal. I don't have to use a million different different things just to treat my acne. So first things first, what I wash my face and body with is just Dove Sensitive Skin Soap. So I have the bar of soap, just a regular bar soap. Very simple, clean, sensitive skin. And then I also have the same thing, but in the actual liquid pump. This is the one that I keep in my shower. If I'm in the shower, I will honestly just use the same thing. Like I'll wash my face and wash my body with this same thing. If I'm just at my sink, then I will use the bar soap. And this is all I wash my face with. I don't use any special acne wash or exfoliating grapefruit seed benzoyl peroxide craziness. I don't use any of that stuff anymore the only thing that i will say that is an exception to that is this product right here this is a product that i randomly discovered it's actually an in shower face mask by freeman beauty you can get this stuff at sally beauty and i think ulta and this is a purifying in shower mask with sea kelp and probiotics it says it boosts clarity restores balance and renews the skin and it's serum infused dermatologist tested. Um, what I like about this is that it's like a thick, it's like a thick blue gel with little tiny beads in it. Tiny, 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 like literally sand. It doesn't have those big exfoliation beads in it. It doesn't have big chunks of stuff in it. They're really, really, really fine, really, really tiny to where it literally just feels like gel mixed with sand and it is a great exfoliator when you have dry skin and it's flaky and it just feels like a weird rough texture you want to exfoliate that dry skin off of your face so that your face can be smooth again. So since I've been on Accutane, I definitely have been struggling with dry, flaky skin. In the first month, it was really bad. Now it's honestly not that bad. I don't get flaky skin very much at all. It kind of just stays normal, but probably twice a week, I will use this in the shower. You're supposed to put it all over your face and let it sit while you do everything else so that the probiotics can like soak into your skin. And then when you're done with everything else, then you kind of scrub it into your face, exfoliate it, get that sandy texture in there to really buff away all of the dead skin and then rinse it out, rinse it off in the shower. And then when you get out of the shower, your face is going to be baby smooth. There's not gonna be any flakes, any dry skin. It's gonna look really like shiny and like glowy, you know, like just good so i really really like this i just randomly discovered it but i just feel like it has the perfect texture because some other exfoliating products are just too harsh they're too chunky i feel like they're literally like scratching and ripping your face off this one is gentle and i honestly feel like the probiotics and all that stuff like it really helps like it really makes my skin look brighter and smoother and more even. So this is what I use for exfoliation because exfoliation, even though I am trying to be gentle with my skin, exfoliation is important and it helps a lot with the smoothness of your skin. And it also helps with acne scarring just to get rid of that dead, darkened layer of skin. And then also speaking of exfoliation, when I get out of the shower or when I'm done washing my face, I still struggle with extremely crusty, dry lips. That is the number one side effect of Accutane that I have definitely struggled with is the really, really bad cracked peeling dry chapped lips that it gives you and I still have that on the third month I feel like it's never gonna go away I hope it goes away soon but I need to exfoliate I need to get the crustiness off my lips y'all like it's a real problem so I have a lip scrub I just so happen to have this one by Milani it's like a sugar 
keep it sweet sugar lip scrub but really it's like sugar scrubs are sugar scrubs a lot of different brands have these you can also really really easily make a DIY sugar scrub with just sugar and honey I think um, so just any type of sugar scrub I use this on my lips to really get off that dead skin and then what I use to moisturize my lips this is like probably my fourth time talking about this but it's literally the best thing ever this is the bite beauty agave lip mask I believe there are two or a couple more shades of this as well like it comes in different colors if you want like a slight tint to your lips or whatever but this is just the regular clear natural one so it doesn't have any color to it but it's a very very thick lip treatment that is literally like I mean like I said it's like literally it's like honey it's very very thick and you're really kind of supposed to use this as a overnight treatment before you go to bed i do wear it to bed but i also wear it during the day i'm wearing it right now so this is just what it looks like it just looks like a clear lip gloss or chapstick but this stuff works so well it stays on for a really long time it moisturizes really really well it doesn't do that thing that other chapsticks do where they trick you into thinking that they're moisturizing your lips but then they actually make your lips drier like I don't know some kind but this is some type of scam with other chapsticks but this one is legit it's actually more of a lip mask so it's thicker it is a little bit sticky it is a little bit heavy because it's a lip mask but to me it's fine to wear throughout the day I mean especially if you like a juicy glossy lip it gives you a cute look as well but we have to actually moisturize the skin that's like the main thing I mean besides taking care of my lips moisturizing my skin is probably my main concern Accutane dries out my skin really bad even though it's not as flaky anymore it definitely is just dry overall like I do not have oily skin at all anymore which is crazy because my skin starting out was so oily like literally you could fry chicken on my cheeks but now it's just dry so I actually have discovered this moisturizer I talked about it briefly before I discovered it because it was honestly sent to me in PR and I just decided to randomly try it um, they didn't sponsor me or anything they just sent me the products this is by Rodeal it's expensive I looked it up online to see how much this actually costs and I believe it was like $80 I mean it's kind of big but still like this is like fancy bougie stuff but honestly I've never tried another moisturizer like this before you guys can maybe recommend some similar things down below but it's like a body butter like it's like a thick fluffy cream and it literally just reminds me of like a Bath and Body Works body butter type of consistency to it it's very luxurious and very creamy I love the scent that it has to it. This is called the Dragon's Blood Velvet Cream. So yeah, I just randomly tried this one day because I was like, oh, it's good for dry skin. And I tried it and I was like, oh, whoa, whoa, wee wow. Like, okay, this is like, you can tell it's like a top of the line luxury moisturizer. That's all I'm saying. And it definitely does what it says on the bottle. It feels so good on the skin. It's not greasy or thick or like shiny. It just like moisturizes it just feels very smooth and soft and it definitely keeps your skin moisturized all day you don't start feeling dry again towards the end of the day like it keeps your skin really nice it just feels so good on the skin like I don't know this just works really really well but it's very expensive and the one thing about it is that it does not have SPF in it at least it doesn't say on the bottle so SPF is really important you need to be protecting your skin from the sun even if it's not like super sunny outside you need to do that every single day so this is the one that I use that actually has SPF in it and it's it's a drugstore and it's affordable this is Cetaphil the only thing about this is I first started using this um, in the beginning when my skin still was oily and this is an oil control moisturizer for acne prone skin with SPF 30 in it but the reason why I still use it now is just because of the oil control aspect to it it's still a moisturizer like it's still going to moisturize your skin it's not gonna make my skin more dry just because it's oil control but it just has more of a matte finish I think is really the only difference with it which is kind of like what this is what I like about this is that it's not greasy shiny 
you know, sticky nastiness. This has that same thing where because it's oil control, it has a matte finish. It's not greasy, and that's what I like about it. Uh, it still moisturizes pretty well, and it still has the SPF 30 in it, so I feel like it still really gets the job done. Honestly, what I typically do is like mix these two together because I like to get the SPF out of this one, but I like to get the really nice, luxurious moisturizer out of this one. I probably really need to find a different product that like combines all of this together. Okay, so now moving on to just kind of like extra products that I wanted to share with you guys. The makeup remover that I've been using lately is by Origins. This is the Original Skin Cleansing Makeup Removing Jelly with Willow Herb. And this is a really thick, juicy gel type consistency. It's just a clear gel. And you rub this all over your makeup first and it just breaks everything down. It melts your makeup. It turns your makeup into like this jelly, oily consistency. And then you can wipe it or rinse it off really, really easily. And it's very, very gentle on the skin. You do not have to scrub at your skin. You don't have to like go over it a million times with a makeup wipe because that really like irritates my skin. So I really like using this to actually soften and melt down my makeup first before I try to scrub it off or wash my face just cause it's way more gentle on my skin and if I do happen to have a bad pimple on my face if I have a new breakout active acne you know a stubborn spot like this one over here which I really haven't been having lately which is good but if I do this is the spot treatment that I've been using I've been using this for years and years and years and years it actually just works really well for me it's a drugstore spot treatment by Neutrogena it's the rapid clear stubborn acne daily leave-on mask they have one that's like in a smaller bottle that's just like spot treatment and then they have this one in the bigger bottle that's like leave-on mask but it's the same product just in a smaller bottle or a bigger bottle like they really be trying to scam you but I just get the bigger bottle because it's more product but basically this is a spot treatment it's benzoyl peroxide based so it's going to dry out the pimple and make it heal faster so if I do have like a bad spot then I'll just take like literally like a little tiny dab of this and dab it on the spot before I go to bed and wear that overnight and when I wake up in the morning the pimple will be more dried out and less red and less visible if you have a bunch of pimples all over your face and you're really really struggling with your acne this is not gonna be the cure to all your problems I'm just gonna say that but if you do have just like a couple of spots that you just kind of want to help along you know speed it up then this will help but don't rely on stuff like this to like cure your acne like I said and lastly as far as face masks purifying clay mask I don't really do those very often at all anymore just because I feel like it's not as necessary and I like clay mask I like purifying clay masks that really feel like it's clearing out your pores so the main one that I really have always liked is the classic Aztec clay mask. This is what it looks like the Indian healing clay. It's a powder You can get it at a lot of like health food stores and different stores um, I think you can get it at Whole Foods and it's just like this little gray powder You can also really easily order it on Amazon That's what I normally do and then what you do is you mix that powder with apple cider vinegar this is what's best to mix it with and so I just keep a bottle of apple cider vinegar in my bathroom with this you basically mix like equal parts of this and it creates a paste you paint the paste all over your face it dries down really really tight and like you feel like your face is like being pulled back and then when you wash it off your face just feels so clean and clear and your pores just feel amazing and I just really really like that face mask a lot of people swear by it it is really good if you just feel like you need to brighten up your face and clear out your pores and tighten up a little bit so that's my favorite one I will say it's like a bit harsh like it's a bit it's a bit much if you have really really sensitive skin or you're having a sensitive skin moment maybe don't do that one and so maybe do something like this like just a simple charcoal clay mask this one is by the same brand as that other exfoliating thing that I showed you Freeman Beauty so again like Sally Beauty Ulta Beauty is where you can get this stuff from and this is just a black charcoal clay mask really simple uh, comes out as a cream and then you paint it on it dries and then you wash it off it's similar to this type of vibe but not as 
intense and it's easier to use because you don't have to like mix up anything or anything like that. Oh, and one more thing I almost forgot to mention. This is a major key. This is something I've been doing for years now and I really do think it's important. So I buy these little face towels. It looks like a tissue box and it is by the um, Kleenex brand. So you find it in the store next it's actually next to the paper towels in the store because they're actually they're not tissues they're like thicker but softer paper towel type things and they come in this box and this is what i keep on my uh bathroom counter next to the sink this is what i dry my face with after i wash my face i don't use regular towels i don't keep a towel hanging there that i touch my face with every day and it's dirty and it's harboring bacteria i don't use towels i use throwaway disposable paper face bath towels i guess is what you would call it so you get a new one every time you dry your face you throw it away that way it's way more sanitary i honestly feel like this makes a difference and yeah that's everything those are literally all the products i will ever use on my face i have a million products in my bathroom from all the trial and error that i've done in the past but i really do not use any of those anymore like i said if i have a bad breakout or just having a moment most likely i'll just do this because it's easy i do also have tea tree oil tea tree oil is good as a spot treatment so sometimes just depending on what's right there i might just grab tea tree oil and dab it on my spot or i'll just use this but really that's it i try to keep it very simple i don't use all these things every single day like i said mostly it's just about washing my face and moisturizing my face exfoliating my lips and moisturizing my lips that's really the main thing i just try to keep my skin clear and moisturized so those are all of my products my favorite products things that i would recommend to anyone with acne or dry skin or problem skin and definitely also if you are on accutane i would recommend it so hopefully you guys found that helpful again if you guys have any recommendations for really thick buttery luxurious moisturizers like this that are cheaper definitely leave your recommendations down below share it for the culture but yeah other than that i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up um also subscribe if you're not already so you can continue following me on this acne journey i still have a bit of a ways to go but hopefully pretty soon you guys will see me you know, totally clear skin. I'm really excited for that moment. It's been a long time coming. If you have not seen uh, my past videos when my skin was really bad, definitely go check those out. I will have some of those links down below. But yeah, that's everything. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.